I had hoped to sort of abandon this uh, working title for my uh, series of videos on the uh, the current black victim complex. But after this uh, last Martin Luther King Jr. Day and what we recently saw with the uh, circulation of this quote that I am about to read to you from Martin Luther King and the absolute deliberate misunderstanding of the context and meaning of this quote and what it is used to justify in the modern day, I uh, am going to title this video as another Mind of the Modern Nigger episode. I should stress to anybody watching uh, this for the first time or have not seen the previous videos that I would like uh, to explain to you what that phrase means. In the past, the word nigger was a phrase used to dehumanize and other black people. It was a racial slur and still is. Well, what I have coined as the mind of the modern nigger or modern nigger mind is the deliberate projection of that racial and racist behavior from modern black people who have a victim complex, which is not to say all black people, but the sort of black people who are proud members of BLM or use quotes from Martin Luther King Jr. to excuse rioting, okay? Which is why I'm making this video. See, what the modern nigger is, is not somebody who's being called nigger, okay? But somebody who thinks of themselves as nigger. Who, in everywhere they go, they think, there's that white person, they think I'm a nigger. All white people are racist. All of them. They're all racist. They all think I'm a nigger. When really the only place that word nigger is occurring in that dialect is in the black person, the black person with the victim complex, I should say, in their own mind. That they are projecting their racism towards white people. Okay? That's what the phrase means. So without any further ado, let's have a read of this excerpt from one of Martin Luther, uh, Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. to show him the proper respect that people don't anymore. This is uh, an excerpt from his letters from Birmingham Jail, where he was at one of his lowest points when he'd been arrested for protesting for civil rights. So, here's the quote. First, I must confess that over the last few years I have been gravely disappointed with the white moderate. I have almost reached the regrettable conclusion that the Negro's great stumbling block in his stride towards freedom is not the white citizen's counselor or the Ku Klux Klanner, but the white moderate who is more devoted to order than to justice, who prefers a negative peace, which is the absence of tension, to a positive peace, which is the presence of justice, who constantly says, I agree with you in the goal you seek, but I can't agree with your methods of direct action who paternalistically feels he can set the timetable for another man's freedom, who lives by the myth of time, and who constantly advises the Negro to wait for, until a more convenient season. Shallow understanding from people of goodwill is more frustrating than absolute misunderstanding from people of ill will. Lukewarm acceptance is much more bewildering than outright rejection. Now, if you knew more of the letter from Birmingham Jail, <clears throat> you would find out that the context he's talking from is first and foremost that this was written in 1963, before the passing of the Civil Rights Act, before the enshrining of the 14th Amendment of the fucking United States Constitution, the Equal Protection Act, where we are all treated the same, which has existed for 50 fucking years, okay? And the people that he was talking about were other religious leaders. See, Martin Luther King considered his revolution completely religious. He was Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King, after all. And he was rather disturbed that a lot of white Christian uh, groups were, uh, when desegregation was ongoing were stressing that people should not resist desegregation because desegregation was now the law and they shouldn't resist the law of the land. Martin Luther King thought that they should see it as what was right, what was righteous, what was godly to do. And that is perfectly understandable. So how in the fuck does this excuse riots? How in the fuck is this um, 
the now rallying cry through which uh, people, black people with victim complexes condemn not only people who condemn their victim complex and their groups surround, uh, that are the victim complex surrounds, like uh, Black Lives Matter, but condemn their own allies for not doing enough. Or condemn people who say, oh yeah, I agree with you, but your methods suck. And in fact, I, I would probably, in a further episode of this uh, uh, series, look up why I've been seeing claims that Martin Luther King Jr., didn't always feel right about his nonviolent intervention strategy and his uh, peaceful protest strategy, and that he thought that he uh, could not achieve civil rights equality without the work of more violent groups like the Black Liberation Army or the Nation of Islam or the Black Panthers. This is fucking reprehensible. That shitty people who don't know the first thing about oppression or actual racism. But that's neither here nor there. The problem is, is that Martin Luther King was a very religious man who, unlike many modern Christians, black or otherwise, adhered with extreme diligence to the, the teachings of Jesus Christ, the whole turn the other cheek thing, and that he believed that only by demonstrating that he would not stoop to the racist level, that he would not riot, that he would not attack people, that he would not demean people or dehumanize people, that he would constantly and without fail and without falter continue to proclaim, proclaim what was and is and will forever may, remain righteous, that he would win because everybody who was resisting him was a racist asshole who would stoop to the most barbaric and savage and inhuman means to put him down, up to and including murdering the man in cold blood. So, that people think that Martin Luther King would agree with the rhetoric, the philosophy, the methods, or the behavior, the mindset, Anything with the modern black with a victim complex person is fucking stupid and repugnant and revolting, but either in its absolutely incredible and regrettable ignorance or its vicious and fucking vile lies. This, this is absolutely reprehensible. If I was a black person with a victim complex who wanted free money, free college, free housing, and bl white people begging forgiveness at my feet for slavery that ended 150 years ago and segregation that ended over 50 years ago. The, a thing that could only possibly happen because we are a post-racial society Except for things like this, except for social justice, except for intersectional feminism, except for Black Lives Matter. See, the majority of the country is neither me, who actively decries these scum fucks, nor the scum fucks themselves, but people who don't give a shit and mind their own business, and most of those people are very decent people, thankfully. It's a great time to be alive in current year. But... If I was one of the scum fucks with a victim complex who was willing to lie and connive to suit my own narcissism, to feed my Munchausen syndrome need for attention and sympathy, who craved the instant fame and power that can be achieved on social media by being a victim, I would stay as far away from any sort of dialectic about Martin Luther King as humanly possible. I would die deflect and divert and get the fuck away from that as soon as possible because there ain't nothing about Martin Luther King that has anything in common with the fucking social justice victim complex snowflake bullshit of today. The grievances are not the same. The severity of any grievance that could possibly be construed as real is not the fucking same. The morality, the methods, the, nothing. There's nothing, nothing about BLM and like-minded groups today that has 
any fucking similarity to Martin Luther King Jr. And the idea that any of these people would use his name to excuse their behavior is fucking disgusting. Fucking completely reprehensible. This is unacceptable. I don't know what else to say. The video's gone on long enough. Do your own research. Read the fucking letter in its entirety. And then go and look up the demands of Black Lives Matter. Go look up the cases they present. This is fucking stupid. Thanks for watching.